Have you ever heard of Walter Potter? Probably not. Walter Potter was alive from 1835 to 1918. He was an amateur taxidermist and his works of art were displayed at the Bromber Museum. Many locals and also tourists would travel to the Bromber Museum in the United Kingdom to see the works of Walter Potter. What makes his art so special? See examples of his creative taxidermy art. This is a kitten with two bodies. They're fused together at the head and they have two tails along with a total of six legs underneath. The two-headed kitten was born this way. It had a total of four eyes but only lived for seven days. Wendy Watts from the Jamaican Inn had this piece on display and added the yellow tape. This piece of art is titled Monkey Riding a Goat. Pretty creative. Both of these animals met an untimely end. Before they were handed over to Walter Potter, the monkey was an escaped pet who died of shock when a bucket of cold water was thrown on him. The goat lived in a park but frequently escaped. These next few pictures are of the rabbit's village school. He originally wanted a total of 50 rabbits for this piece but was only able to get 48. He made do with what he had. Walter Potter managed to make all of the furniture and accessories himself. However, when it came to the clothes, he enlisted the help of his wife, Anne. What a good sport! Even the ink wells that you see on the desks were carved from chalk. Another collection that Walter Potter created was the Death and Burial of Cock Robin, which he built in 1861. There's a poem called Who Killed Cock Robin, and that is what this collection is based off of. In the collection, all characters from the poem are present. The Death and Burial of Cock Robin took Walter Potter seven years to build. It contains almost 100 birds, and even some of them are crying with glass tears in their eyes. There are four species that he included that are now considered either extinct or extremely rare. They're the red-backed shrike, Cyril bunting, Rhineck, and hawfinch. Of course, you can't forget his work of art called The Kitten's Tea and Croquet Party. He created this in the late 1800s. The next collection is called The Kitten's Wedding and was created in 1890. In this collection, there are 20 kittens wearing magnificent suits and dresses, complete with knickers. Potter had one of his neighbors help with the dresses, along with his daughter Minnie. This was the last collection made by Potter and the only one where the animals were all dressed. Kitten's Wedding was one of the most popular exhibits by Walter Potter. It was even lent out to other museums such as the Victoria and Albert Museum along with the Liverpool Museum. In this picture, the kitten bride is wearing a veil and is carrying flowers as she waits for her kitten groom. If you look closely, you can see the ring on the kitten bride's finger. You may wonder where Walter Potter found all of these deceased animals. The birds were often brought in by visitors who may have found them dead already. Typically they were found around telephone wires or were killed by a cat. The cats came from a farm near Henfield. At this farm, cats were able to roam freely, but in the 1800s, spaying and neutering animals wasn't a common practice. They would typically keep one of the kittens then destroy the rest. The owners of the Henfield farm then donated these kittens to Potter. This group of rowdy looking rats is better known as the Lower Five. In this piece, Potter has made it so the rats appear to be on the verge of getting raided by the police, or they're playing a game of dominoes where there's money at stake. This group of squirrels is better known as the Upper Ten, and it was created in 1880. This is the classier version of the two groups. As you can see, these squirrels are nice and plump and they have a servant bringing them drinks and champagne. In this picture, you'll see a couple of visitors at the Bromber Museum taking a look at Walter Potter's creations. Is this a museum that you would like to visit? I think it would be interesting to see in person, but I don't know if it would be anything I'd brag too much about. 